Good morning guys. So I need to touch up my roots of my hair today um, because I'm going to get my extensions moved up tomorrow and I just want to get it out of the way so that way when I get my hair done I don't have to mess with it. So I just thought I would show you kind of how I do that quickly. It's like a two step process because first I have to put like the regular dye on my hair. Um, so that the Pravana will grab to that color. That's what works for me. So um, I'm going to show you guys how I do that. This is what I'm going to use first. It is the color 4V Dark Plum Brown. And this is Age Beautiful. I really like this line of hair dye. Um, so I just use a little bit of this. I always use Tim Volume. Because you don't need anything more than that. Just adding more damage to your hair. There's no point in that. So, And you really don't need a lot of this. Because I'm just doing my roots. And I'm not doing it over my whole head. Because like I said I have the extensions. So um, I'm just going to do. Just like this upper part. That you can see. And that's about how much I use. So, And if I need to mix more I will. But I try not to waste it. And then just take your little mixer. And then mix it on up. I do about equal parts of the developer with the hair dye. Just to get like a nice creamy consistency. And then I only leave this on for like 20 minutes. It's a really nice color on its own, but I should put on some gloves. These are the gloves I use also. Size medium. Basically, just take it and put it on. Put it on your roots. Super easy. And you don't have to be careful because I'm going to go over all my hair with the Pravana just to freshen it up um, and make sure it's even. And yeah, that's basically it. It's not very difficult. So I'm just going to slather this all over. And then I'm going to let it process for 20 minutes and then um, rinse it out and then let it dry a little bit. It can be wet um, when I do the Pravana, but I'm going to let it dry a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and put on, I'll mix up the Pravana and show you guys what that looks like. So I'm going to finish up and let it process and then I'll come back on and show you um, after I rinse it out when I do the Pravana. So be back. Okay, so after you've rinsed out your hair, this is what it looks like. It's like sopping wet still, but it's fine. Um, the Pravana that I use is the Vivid Collection. So these are the three that I use. It is Violet, Red, and Wild Orchid. You can kind of see what it looks like on my roots. It has like a red tint to it. But... So I don't have a lot left, but hopefully it will be enough. And usually what I do is I mix it with conditioner, but I usually don't do that when I just touch up my roots because I want like the full pigment of color. But if I don't have enough, then I might do that. Okay, so that's what it looks like if you can see. I would do it like three parts red to two parts purple to one part wild orchid if you're going to do all three. Um, but I always do majority red. But this time I kind of did 50-50 red and purple because I don't really have much red left and I have a lot of purple left. That's what it should look like. And then we just throw this on. And then I leave this on for like 30-45 minutes. Sometimes I leave it on for an hour if I'm just busy doing stuff. I try not to make a mess because this will stain everything. I usually lay something down but I just lather it on. And um, you can focus this in your root area, but I'm going to end up spreading it out all over. And that's pretty much it. Super easy. This doesn't need any type of developer, so you just mix it and throw it on. You guys appreciate this because it is not cute getting your hair 
done. And I think I'm pretty much done. I think I got all the pieces. It's really easy when you only are like focusing on the top of your head. So after you're looking super fabulous like I am, um, if you have any left over, which I do, I have a lot, I mixed like way too much. I keep this bottle in the, um, in the shower filled with half conditioner or like mostly conditioner and then hair dye. So I'm just going to dump this into that bottle and then I'll mix some more conditioner in there. And that way you can just like touch it up in the shower and refresh your color. So that's a really good tip. I've been using like super high end shampoo and conditioners, but my extensions have been super, super dry. So I picked up some of this Aussie... Is it Aussie? Yeah, I don't know. I picked up some of this Aussie um, 3 Minute Miracle, and this is the moisture one. It is a deep conditioner, and I've been using this. It's super inexpensive, but it's been making my extensions feel so much better. So I think I'm just going to stick to this for now. I used to use this a long time ago. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to stick to that. And then the shampoo, the Redken, the pink bottle. I don't know, it's like color magnetics, I think. Put this in the bottle though. This is my bottle of conditioner and hair dye. It's way easier to refresh your color when you don't have any extensions because you can't get conditioner all over your tape if you have tape ins. But I can still just use this like on the top of my head and then on the longer parts of my extension so that's usually what I do. So after you put it all in there, then you can just do the conditioner. That's pretty much it. Just shake it up. I look fabulous. And then you have yourself like a touch-up um, conditioner. So that's it. I'm going to let this process for like 45 minutes, probably an hour, and then I'm going to rinse it out. Be back. Hey, guys. So I got my hair done this morning, and I never showed you after I had dyed my hair, but um, you can see what it looks like now. I still have dye on my head, even though she scrubbed my hair like really, really good. Um, I just went in this morning to get my extensions moved up, and um, I always have her curl it, but I just had her kind of like smooth it out today. I'm just freshening up a little bit because I'm going to go run some errands. Um, I have like some last minute Christmas shopping to do for some people at work. I'm all done with like my family, but um, I have some things I got to get for some people at work. And then I need to like go by the bank and deposit some money and that's pretty much 